what is going on outlaws death here and in this video i'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite weapons in red dead redemption 2 online i'm gonna tell you why i like them and we're gonna be giving them a quick test now these are my personal weapons but i do believe these are some of the best guns in the game now without further ado let's kick things off with handguns we're going to be talking about the Lemat Revolver. It's an incredible weapon, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, sidearm in the game right now. Now, it has every single type of bullet that, you know, we have in the game, but on top of that, it can also shoot shotgun shells. Yes, it's the only sidearm in the game that not only shoots regular bullets, but also has a shotgun mode to it. And this is the reason why it's my favorite handgun in the game. It's just so practical. And the fact that you have that shotgun allows you to know that if someone gets close enough to you, you're going to be busting their cheeks. So I really, really love this weapon on top of the fact that it looks extremely, extremely nice. But it's not the only handgun I like. There's another handgun that I find extremely good. This is the Volcanic Pistol, and the reason being is that it looks beautiful, it looks extremely slick, and on top of that, it hits like a freaking truck. If you put express rounds, this can hit as hard as a rifle, so I really, really like it. You know, I think it's a very fast weapon, and on top of the fact that it's fast, it shoots extremely accurate and fast. So it shoots fast, it's a fast reloading weapon, and it hits really hard and just sprinkling it on top it looks beautiful very nice pistol and these are my two favorite handguns in the entire game there are some very good ones but they don't come close to this one now I want to talk about the first you know long range weapon that is my varmint rifle everybody out there like hold up we talking about the varmint rifle we talking about the varmint rifle yes we are even though it's gone through 400 nerfs ever since you know the beta days it's still an incredible weapon to land headshots at close to medium range it won't compete with other you know big guns out there but it will definitely hold its own especially in pvp matches i really like this gun it's easy to get it's affordable it's one of the first weapons every single player can get in the game and even though it's been nerfed it's extremely good it's accurate it's fast and it hits on the dot so overall the barman rifle goes way back with me and it's one of my favorite weapons in the game the next weapon is also one of my favorites. We're going to be talking about the Lancaster Repeater. It's my favorite repeater in the game. It hits really hard. It's fast. It's accurate. And it looks very, very slick. Now, it has all the ammo types that, you know, we regularly would have in any of these rifle repeater weapons. So, it's no different. But the fact that it has very, and I'm talking about very good accuracy, makes this weapon one of my favorites. On top of the fact that the range, damage, and fire rate is extremely good. And reloading all 14 rounds into the magazine is also very, very fast. So, overall, I really like this weapon. I find it to be one of the best repeaters right up there with the Litchfield repeater so if you guys are looking for a repeater or a longer range weapon to fight against the bar mint this is definitely the weapon for you once again fast reloads very fast slick and extremely accurate the Lancaster repeater is one of my favorites all right now it's time to get into the big boys in the game we're gonna be talking about the bolt action rifle this is my favorite big hitting rifle in the game not only because of its looks but also because it can pretty much take out your whole leg with one shot even with regular rounds this gun hits extremely extremely hard it has very very good accuracy it has really good reload speed and incredible range so i highly advise all of you out there to go out and test the bolt action rifle there are other weapons out there that can put up a fight like the springfield rifle and i would dare say it's almost as good but in my honest opinion the bolt action rifle is a little better and definitely the best rifle in red dead redemption 2 online it's an incredible weapon it's very accurate it shoots fast it hits like a truck it reloads very fast for what it's worth so definitely a weapon i advise you guys to go out of your way get or at least try especially with all the discounts right now 
Now let's get into the really big boys, the snipers, and I want to talk about the Carcano rifle. But before we do talk about the Carcano rifle, I want to tell you why it is that I find this weapon different from the rolling block rifle. Apart from looks, because the rolling block is a very basic weapon, the Carcano rifle is very slick, it's very, very nice, and I find it to be able to do more damage faster than the rolling block rifle because of its magazine size. So overall, I find this sniper to be a really, really good weapon. It does incredible damage, it reloads pretty good, it's very accurate. So overall, I would highly advise that if you're looking into snipers and you really want to get something cool, try your hands on the Carcano rifle and let me know if your opinion on snipers hasn't changed because this weapon packs a really big punch. The next weapon I want to talk about is something that you guys might already know, especially if you've been watching my live streams over the past week. I'm in love with the bow. That's right, the bow is a weapon that came out of nowhere for me. I started using Slippery Bastard very late, even though I had it at level 3, and the bow with Slippery Bastard is a match made in heaven. On top of the fact that we have tons of different arrow types, and we have two of my favorite arrow types or ammo types in the game, incendiary rounds and dynamite arrows. Both of these can cause so much mayhem in the battlefield. Shooting a player with fire arrows will make it so he can't pretty much shoot you back for at least a little bit of time. And dynamite arrows will blow anything that stands in the way. So the bow is an incredibly good weapon. It's very nice. It's the only weapon in the game where you can currently do silent or sneaky missions. So overall, it's a must-have. It's very cheap, so go out of your way and buy it. The next thing I want to talk about is my favorite shotgun in the game, and I own all of them, and that is the Pump Action Shotgun. It's incredibly slick looking. I like it mainly because of how fast it can shoot, and even though it doesn't have the best accuracy, I find it to be incredibly accurate. It hits like a truck. It hits insanely fast. It has tons of rounds in the magazine, which allow you to deal tons of damage, and it looks beautiful. Honestly, I've tested out all the other shotguns and I find this to be the most fun, the fastest, and overall the best for PvP and even PvE gameplay. So overall, the pump action shotgun is the way you want to go when it comes to shotguns in my personal and humble opinion. Now we're going to talk about something else. This is a bonus for the video. There are some items in the game that some of you might not know, you might be newer players, or simply you might be an endgame player that overlook these items. So I want to cover them. The first one is Toxic Moonshine. You pretty much create a toxic cloud that makes it so people can't really shoot or fight well and they start dying by being poisoned. Overall, it's a pretty fun tool, not the greatest. You won't be killing people with this very easily, but if you are getting hunted down or you got people in a bar in a saloon that you want to get the hell out of there, this is the tool for you. Overall, a very fun weapon. The next thing I want to talk about also has to do with the Moonshiner roll, and it's also a very fun weapon. Not something you necessarily need, but like the Toxic Moonshine, it's something that is very fun to use, and that is the Flammable Moonshine. Pretty much you have a bottle of moonshine and you can make, you know, patterns and trails along the ground and shoot it and it will catch fire. The reason I like this is because you can do so much with this. You can make specific missions, you can have fun with friends, you can pretty much set a town on fire. Overall, I find this to be a pretty fun tool, very, very interesting and something for you to mess around with. Now, the last item I want to put in this game is not something to play around with. And that is the reinforced lasso. I believe this to be a necessary tool for anybody that wants to do end game bounties and overall play PvP and bother people because the reinforced lasso is a must have in the game. It's just really good, it's durable, and it lasts like twice as long as a regular lasso. And with that, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button button and subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption 2 online videos. Let me know what your favorite weapons in the game are and why in the comment section below. Hit that notifications bell to stay up to date every time I post a video and your boy Death Gun out.